Hi everyone, it's me. I decided to do a pretty quick flip through of this journal, the Endless Recorder. And if you've watched my videos in the past, you'll know that this is now the second Endless Recorder I've used, January 12th to February 2nd, I think. My pen and ink log and I'm just gonna mainly do what I usually do just flip through and show you the pages um, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time this time talking about different entries or things like that because I know sometimes my videos get a little bit too wordy and not everybody likes that I enjoyed this notebook. Um, the only thing that bothers me is that there is something about this paper that when I write on it with my fountain pens, I feel like I'm writing through carpet. Like I have to really move my fountain pens. I have to pull them towards me or I have to push them away from me to get them to write through the paper. When I'm writing with a wetter nib, it's easier and it feels nicer. And about halfway through the book, I really didn't mind so much anymore. I, overall, I did really enjoy this notebook. This was gifted to me and I was very happy to use it. So usually I'll write two pages as one color, two pages in the next color, and sometimes if I'm quite enjoying a color, I'll write a few pages in it. The first page of every day, I add a little picture at the top or the bottom of the page. Just something fun and whimsical something that I like to look at while I'm writing. Maybe a little picture that I'd like to crawl into and just sort of burrow in. Maybe a picture that means something to me. Maybe something that has meaning about the day. Or it just could just be a picture that I really like. So a lot of writing. That's what I do. <laughs> I'd like to be more creative with my journaling. I would like to learn how to collage and how to do all that and, and you know, make beautiful collaged pages and really enjoy the process of doing those things. But I just don't know how and Doing that involves buying new supplies and new stickers. And I've been rereading Frog and Toad. I know it's a children's book, but I really enjoy it. I got a new pin from work. I bought a Scarlet Esterbrook Esty from work. And so that was a new pin day that I got to celebrate in this journal. So far, I'm really enjoying it. Um, I have pens inked up that I only use for work or that I prefer to use at work. That was just showing that uh, I cleaned up and inked up a pen, a work pen that's a tester at work, which was a Lamy Vista and a 1.1 stub nib. And after I cleaned it out, I tested it in my journal and I really liked it. One of the perks of working in a store that sells fountain pen and inks is that when new inks come out, I get to test them out. Well, 
you know, I don't get a sample each time, like a sample that you would get from Goulet or something. But when she opens up the tester bottles, sometimes I get to get a, uh, a fill and a pen of ink. And so it's fun. I get to try out different inks that I wouldn't normally gravitate towards. So it's fun. That was a little piece of acetate that covered a, a chocolate, chocolates and a chocolate tin that I got. Gourmet chocolates that the girls and I enjoyed together. More frog and toad. Really been enjoying frog and toad lately. Oh, we went to go see Avatar 2 and we really enjoyed it. I cried a lot. I cry at everything. I just get so emotional when I watch movies or TV shows. I'm trying also to embrace some of the, uh, the ideals of Stoicism. So I've been reading um, Letters from a Stoic by Seneca. And it's really, really in-depth and kind of a hard read for me so I'll spend a few days reading and rereading one letter to try and you know get the message to sink in mainly just writing writing what's in my head at any given moment whenever I feel like I need to get it out could be things profound about my mental health could be things about me writing about the pens and the inks that I'm using in my notebook and which notebook I want to use next could be me making a list of my favorite pen and ink combinations there's a lot of things that I write about one of my favorite colors is Ferris Will Press's buttered pop and oh look right there I didn't have my journal with me at work and there was some time where uh, I had some time in between customers and packing orders and so I took the time to write in my journal for a little bit well write in the paper that I had in the back of my traveler's notebook so this is some information about the notebook itself some like I said, I've reviewed this notebook before. I enjoyed it. It was a gift for me, and I'm very appreciative of it. Um, for those of you who like notebooks that have a little bit more tooth to the paper, I think you'd really enjoy this notebook. I think you could give it a shot, and I think you would be very happy with it. It was a gift, and, and I'm very grateful. So it will go in my tall stack of journals that I have finished and here's the new one that I've started which was also gifted to me it's a really pretty pocket sized uh, Italian uh, paper notebook and I look forward to doing a th through of that when it's all done for you goodbye <laughs>